Guy gets on the tying run comes to the plate. Fly ball to left field. The Teoscar is there and that's the ball game. Adam Simber retires the side in order in the bottom of the ninth and the Blue Jays win the first game of this three game series four to nothing. Alec Manoa with his 13th win of the season set the tone. Bo Bichette with an insurance two run home run in the ninth and the Blue Jays win the opener here in Pittsburgh. Yeah this was all about Alec Manoa setting the tone I think not just for this game but hopefully for the series and for the rest of the of the road trip. Just enough hitting for the Blue Jays. They leave 11 runners on base. They score enough and then the pitchers take over. So game one goes to the Blue Jays tomorrow. We'll have to see it's supposed to be a bullpen day for Toronto. Blue Jays will announce their thoughts after the game tonight. We want to thank you for watching the Blue Jays win the opener four to nothing. Alec Manoa with the win. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great rest of your night. Time now for Sportsnet Central. Here's Danielle and Faisal. A big win for the Blue Jays. We've got more baseball across the network right now. Yankees and Rays. It's on Sportsnet 1 and Sportsnet Now. The Rays are 2 on in the bottom of the 8. The Mariners are playing the Guardians. That's on Sportsnet Now. And moments away from first pitch in L.A. between the Padres and the Dodgers. We're going to take you to Los Angeles at the end of this edition of Sportsnet Central. Hello, everyone. Welcome inside our Sportsnet Central studio. Face can be said. Daniel Michaud hanging out here with you. A big win for the Jays yeah. starting their 10-game road trip in victorious fashion. 4-0 over Pittsburgh. It's good given what's going on in the rest of the AL. And, of course, we're going to fill you in on all of that right now. But let's keep our focus right now to this team. And funny you mentioned the road trip because nothing about the PNC Park felt like a road game. So many yes. Jays fans in attendance. And for Alec Manoa, his Mountaineers from West Virginia also there cheering him on. And what an incredible performance. So to give us a little more info on a fantastic start to September, let's send it to Jamie and Joe, guys. Well, Danielle, I know you've got a mountain of highlights to show, but we will suggest that, yes, this was a really important victory because we know that Baltimore's already won, Tampa Bay's leading New York, and Seattle's leading Cleveland handily. So they kind of had to, Joe. <laughs> and uh, it's the result of an outstanding outing by Alec Manoa that they have a 4 nothing victory for the most part. Why was he so effective on this occasion? Well, the Pirates loaded up a bunch of switch hitters and left-handed hitters trying to attack what would be maybe a weakness of Alec Manoa's, but it didn't matter to him. He just brought his game plan. doesn't change a whole lot. You know, against the righties, he'll elevate the fastball. He'll run it in. He'll use the slider away. The lefties, he's not afraid to use that changeup. A good pitch for him right down in there when you can locate it down. And look at the sequence here. Slider down the way to righty. Guess what else is coming? The heat upstairs. And when he can do that against righties, it's really tough. We saw him backdoor the slider to some lefties. We also saw him go down and in, but he can jam a right-handed hitter at any time, and then he starts jamming the left-handed hitters. And that's why that 93-94 we see with his fastball, it just has to have a little bit more on it. This is the one in the seventh. It's a 2-0 ball game right here. A big pick from Kevin Biggio. And how about when the skipper's coming out to take you out of the game? The big man did not want to leave, no. and I don't blame him. He had a lot of people there watching playing in front of a lot of friends and family. It's a lot of fun to excel, do well in front of people when they come to watch a pitch. He wanted to get through the eighth. No pitcher wants mm. to walk off the mound. They want to get the final out of the inning and then come off. He would have been okay with that, I'm sure. But an excellent effort against a very subpar Pittsburgh Pirates team. He did what he had to do. Back to PNC. Arash Madani is with uh, one of the men who drove in a pair of runs tonight. Arash. Santiago, one point, Manoa needed four pitches to get three outs. When he's in a groove like that behind him, what's the mindset about what the evening's looking like? Man, everything is positive. When this guy comes in, he works fast, um, he attacks hitters, he's being really aggressive, and, uh, you know, just throwing strikes over there, just being aggressive, and that, that's what we need from him. He was moving. He was saying a lot. He was punching guys out. When he's stomping around back there, what, what's that like? Man, it, it's so fun to watch him pitch, man. And, um, you know, when every day that he comes in, he'll bring it in. And uh, being aggressive with the other team, man, it, that's all we need. Uh, the winning is because of him. You know, went out there, did they, they his thing, did his job, and 
Good for him, man. And I appreciate him. And, uh, you know, the team appreciate him, too, all the work that he has done this whole year. And, um, you know, we keep it going. The hitters were doing their jobs, too, Santiago. It was a real patient approach. Guys were taking their walks, waiting for it. What, what was the game plan coming in against a young pitcher on a pitch count? You know, uh, we're just trying to get a good pitch to hit, but make sure that that, that is on the zone. Uh, we actually talk about that all the time and, uh, you know, make, making sure that we stay aggressive, too. But, um, you know, we're just trying to get a good pitch to hit, making sure that, that everything that, that the pitchers throw is right there in the zone. It's now September. Calendar's flipped. It's the final month of the season. How different does all of this feel now? Man, um, it feels like we're in a playoff run. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like we every game that we're going to play today, I mean, every day, there's going to be a playoff, you know? And um, we just got to stay consistent. We just got to stay focused and uh, keep it going. What do you think, and I know you were banged up a little bit down the stretch last year, but what do you think this team learned about last season, about what that last month is and what a different animal it can be? You know, it's that W, that W that we needed the, la the last game, you know, uh, we were one short away from, from making the playoff. And, uh, you know, every game right now matters. Uh, it doesn't matter what team we played, every game matters right now, especially now in September. We just got to keep it rolling. We just got to keep uh, being consistent and um, everything will play out. Good start to the series. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Bless the three men in the broadcast booth in Pittsburgh, Buck Martinez, Pat Tabler, and Scott Carson for flashing the signs in the middle of the game in support of everybody going through uh, cancer treatment at this point. And uh, let's send it out there now. Buck, it, it sounded like a home game tonight at PNC. Well, it sure did, Jamie. An awful lot of Blue Jay fans were here, and certainly Alec Manoa gave them a lot to cheer about. It was also Mountaineer night, West Virginia. Yeah. University where Manoa pitched his baseball team was here and there was a lot to root for but boy once again Alec Manoa stepped up and is it too early in his career to call him an ace no 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 because that he pitched like an ace today and when you start out on this kind of kind of road trip you need a statement game and he made a statement and what has he done now lowest single ERA in team history uh, he ties Dave Steve so far with 248 seven to third inning shutout inning just five hits a walk and six strikeouts for Manoa so he starts off the road trip with a with a gem that's exactly what the Blue Jays needed because they're going to be shuffling their pitching rotation a little bit with their eyes on the Baltimore Orioles starting next week. 26 start of the season. He's 13 and 7, so he's had 20 decisions in those 26 starts. And each and every time he's gone to the mound, he's pitched at least five innings. For me, that's the definition of an ace. Yes, it is. And you know, he, he gives you innings. He finds ways to to help you win ball games. And by him starting game one of this road trip, he now slides right into that last game in Baltimore. So if we, you want to get through this series right here. Then it sets you up for Baltimore, and you've got Gosman, Barrios, Manoa, those three pitching in that series. you got to beat the Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, absolutely, and Baltimore is winning again tonight, Jamie. So it's a good start here in Pittsburgh. We'll be right back at it tomorrow night, but Alec Manoa got him off on the right foot so far. All right, gentlemen, we'll look forward to hearing from you tomorrow night. Let's not forget, it was just a 2 nothing game going into the ninth inning. So let's focus on a couple things that may need to be cleaned up before these contenders start rolling in. For example, sixth inning, Espinal leads off with a single. And here comes Jackie Bradley Jr., who to that point was 0 for his last 13 and had struck out twice, Joe. What do you think is going on in that kind of a situation? Well, I think it's the struggling offense at times. Now, remember, this Blue Jays offense leads the American League in several categories, but there are nights when they're just not getting it done. So when I've got my number nine hitter up in the sixth inning, I'm thinking maybe dropping a bunt down, moving a run over, hit and run something. We know John Schneider likes to try a lot of things. I was really try, uh, surprised to see Espinel try to steal a base. Not exactly a base stealing threat. Bradley Jr. rolls over and gets the up, but in the eighth inning, it happened again. I can't believe he's at the plate. This is a struggling, struggling hitter in a critical spot. Bases loaded, one out. I want contact. I say, where's Ryan Maltapia? I know he's struggling right now as well. And you ideally want that platoon advantage with the left-handed bat. And I know there aren't tons of options on that bench, but Tapia has been struggling too, but that's a perfect spot maybe to pull a guy off the bench, mm -hmm. put a ball in play, make something happen. We know Tapia can be that type of player at times. I thought that situation right there was screaming Rymel Tapia. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know if he was available or not. Maybe he wasn't available tonight. We don't know those things, but what a perfect situation. I can't send Jackie Bradley Jr. up in that situation with this offense struggling 
it's a great chance maybe to make something happen and break that game open. But, of course, Bo Bichette came to the rescue a little bit later. Yeah, this offense scored four times, but they also stranded 11 men, and that is a lot against a team like the Pittsburgh Pirates. So they'll take them on again tomorrow night. We're not quite sure just yet who's starting, <laughs> uh, but we know Vladdy will be hitting as uh, they go after another victory at PNC Park. Hope you'll join us again. Six Eastern, three Pacific is when things kick off with Blue Jays Central as we send it back to Danielle and Faisal.